Why are these people on the left acting so delusional? They honestly believe what they say. They have been told that they deserve special treatment for the wrongs of over 150 years ago. And they believe it because they have been told something so often that they've accepted it. Let me give you an example. I believe I may have spoken about this before. But locally, the local horrible newspaper posted an article about how 30 years ago here, a woman's niece died. And she was such a sweet, innocent girl, 18 years old, and she was shot dead by the police. And apparently it caused rioting locally. This little girl, woman, 18-year-old woman, was not so innocent. Yes, she was shot dead by the police. Four cops un uh, unloaded their handguns on her. What would make four cops pull out their handguns and uh, unload on an 18-year-old woman? Well, this 18-year-old woman was driving a stolen car. She tried to run this stolen car through a police roadblock. In the process of trying to run it through a police roadblock, she pinned a female officer between the stolen car and a patrol car. And it was at that point that four other cops pulled their guns and shot her dead. Sounds pretty justified to me. But the community didn't think so. And even 30 years later, this woman's family says it was unjustified. That it was just completely wrong. But that's what happens when you live in a liberal community. Things just end up completely ass-backwards. Let me give you an example. In this same community, not too many years ago, there was a black gentleman. He decided he wanted to kill himself. So he climbed up on a fence that covered a walkway over an interstate, and he was threatening to jump. Police stopped the traffic on the highway. They tried to talk him down, and when that failed, one of the officers tasered him. And in the process of tasering him, he fell onto the road, not the interstate, but the overpass. He ended up hurting his leg in the process of the fall. The city settled for if I remember correctly, a quarter million dollars after he sued the city. This is a very irrational response. This person wanted to kill themselves. The suicide was prevented by law enforcement as best they could to contain the situation and normalize traffic in the area. And yet, they got a quarter million dollars out of the deal. I do not understand how the liberal mind actually expects to function by doing such stupid, stupid things. And if you follow anything that liberals do, it's consistently stupid. So exactly what is gained by rioting. Well, I'll tell you what's gained by rioting. Intimidation. Think about Rodney King. Rodney King did get the living shit kicked out of him. There's no doubt about that. He was driving a Hyundai at 120 miles per hour. And you have to realize what the Hyundai Excel was back then. It was a throwaway car that was good for about 85,000 miles that you got brand new for five grand. And somehow or another, he got that piece of junk doing 120 miles per hour. Well, drunk. 
Now, did he deserve that ass whooping? I don't know. I wasn't there. I would think not, but I only saw the portion of the video where he got the ass whipping. Now, once those cops were acquitted, the people rioted, as it's very famously uh, shown. And it caused Bush Sr. to call out the Marines to help regain control of the Los Angeles area. The feds then came in, and these same law enforcement that was law enforcement officers that were found not guilty were suddenly convicted for civil rights violations. So what you did was you showed a group of people that if they riot, they will get vigilante justice. So it will be interesting to see what happens to this officer, Darren Williams, I believe his name is. It will be interesting to see what happens to him. Will this grand jury throw him under the bus? Will they righteously decide there's not enough evidence to convict? Or will they righteously decide there is, I'm sorry, trial? Or they, will they righteously decide there is enough evidence to hold him over for trial? I do not have the answer on whether it is righteous or not. But the actions of the Ferguson community are wrong. And no matter if this officer is guilty or innocent, the actions of the community should not affect the jury pool. But the reality is, they will. They've already got massive media attention. They've already got politicians catering to them. The grandfather came out and called out Obama today. He said, I voted for you. I want you to come here and talk to me. I find that hilarious, to be perfectly honest. Your gentle giant, gentle strong-armed robbery giant, was killed, whether justified or not, and you are demanding the president step in and make sure that your family sees what you believe is justice. I'm sorry. Justice doesn't work like that. The famous portrait of the lady holding up scales in balance and she's blindfolded because it's not supposed to matter. Justice is blind. Now you can argue the reality of the situation is the person with the better attorney wins. But the reality is also the person that's smart enough to keep their mouth shut can win. Because you don't volunteer any information that can be used against you. It doesn't matter if you're innocent or guilty. So, if you act like a fool, you can expect to be convicted like a fool. And when people think they can intimidate the entire country to get vigilante justice, they are acting a fool. And when the country or a particular area caves in and gives them that vigilante conviction and taints the scales of justice, it is all of us who are acting the fool. Just food for thought. Something to think about as we watch this drama unfold.